Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to give you basic introduction of Wireshark. So, what is Wireshark? Wireshark is an open source network protocol analysis software program. Basically, it is a packet sniffer and analysis tool. It captures network traffic on the local network and stores the data for offline analysis. Wireshark captures network traffic from Ethernet, Bluetooth or wireless. Wireshark includes filters, color coding and other features that let you dig deep into network traffic and analyze individual packet. You can use Wireshark to inspect uh, suspicious programs or on our network traffic. Network admin use it to troubleshoot network problems. You can download Wireshark for Windows or Mac OS from its official website. And if you are using Linux or another Unix system, you will find it in its package repositories. Now let's have a look at uh, wireless user interface. As you can see, I have a long list. Uh, I have a long list of uh, network interface. Some of them are from my virtual machine and from WSL. So ignore them. Uh, this list might be different on your system. Most of us are using Wi-Fi, so select Wi-Fi. And if you are using Ethernet, then select ETH0, which represent Ethernet on a Linux and on Windows. Simply, it will be Ethernet. As soon as you select the interface, Wireshark starts capturing packets. Now, I'm gonna give you some basic introduction of uh, our Wireshark interface. First, we are gonna check view option. As you can see, all the necessary options are already selected. Uh, first three are main toolbar, filter toolbar and status bar uh, this is the main toolbar this is filter bar and at the bottom is status bar i'll explain uh, the main toolbar in a moment from filter bar you can filter packets according to the port number or protocol status bar display summary of lost and capture packets now Let's see main toolbar. It contains various functions. Uh, you can start stop capturing packets from here. This green fin lets you restart the uh, session. When you click on capture option, a uh, new window pops up with all the available interface. You can enable or disable promiscuous mode from here. Now let me tell you what is promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode is a mode of operation in which every data packet transmitted can be received and read by network adapter. Normally a network interface will only receive packets directly addressed to the interface. Promiscuous mode allows the interface to receive all packets whether they are belong to the interface or not. So, if you disable promiscuous mode, then it will capture or monitor packets or traffic within your computer. Here you can see promiscuous mode is enabled by default for all available interfaces. Now this option opens saved file if you already have Wireshark file. Next button saves the current file and other two are for close and reload current file. This is a search option. You can find a particular packet by using different filters. These two options are for navigation. This button lets you go to a specific packet. For example, if I want to access packet number 33, then enter the number here and click on go to packet as you can see 33 number packet is highlighted with dark color this up and down arrow button takes you to the first packet and the last one 
next button is 4 you can scroll to the last packet during the live session now here we have colorization option you can see all the capture packets are in a different color wireshark has assigned different color to each protocol for better understanding if you disable colorization all the packets looks same if you want to find out which protocol associated with which color then go to view option click on coloring rule here you can see different protocol assigned to different color you can customize the color if you want let's say i want to change background color for this protocol so click on it then select background and select your favorite color and then click ok same thing you can do with foreground and text color these two options are for zoom in or zoom out and with this option you can resize packet list column according to your need now let's move back to the view option we have seen first three options and now it's time to see other three option which are packet list packet details and packet bytes this is the first packet list here you can see all the capture packets and this is the packet details so if you select any packet here you can see detailed information about the selected packet and down here we have packet bytes this information is in a raw form you can change this hexadecimal detail into binary format by right click on here and select bits now let's understand this column very first column is displayed packets in a serial number and then we have time column it shows us when was the packet captured you might wondering what kind of time is this so let's change the time format so we can read it normally go to the view click on time display here you can choose suitable time format i'm going to select time of day and down here select second this would be much better than the previous format and source column display ip address of a device who sends the packet destination column display the ip address who received packet next to it we can see what protocol used during packet transfer and length column shows packet size in a bytes and info column gives brief information about packets i hope this will clear all your basics uh, for the wireshark uh, if i miss anything let me know in the comment below or uh, if you are new to my channel please give a like share and subscribe to my channel uh, i really appreciate when you do that uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Till the time, take care and ciao.